It is nine o'clock at night. My neck is on fire. My baby's sleeping. My husband's playing the game. And this is my second attempt at filming a makeup tutorial because these brows are too nice to let them go to waste. So be with me, bear with me. Ooh, okay, let's try this again. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to try to do another makeup look. Um, I don't really know where I'm going with the makeup look. I don't really know, I don't really have anything in mind. I do know I want to play with the Huda Beauty Wild Tiger palette. So we are going to be playing with this palette in particular. And we're gonna just we're just gonna wing it and see how it goes. I really don't I really don't know how this is gonna go. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so there are no names on the back of this palette. So I'm going to go in with this middle shade down here with a fluffy E40 blending brush. And this is going to be my transition shade. I'm going to use this up in the upper part of the crease. Like, I honestly... Y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll do like a halo. I haven't done a halo look in forever, so maybe we'll do that. I am going to take an E25 Max. It's like a really large E25 brush with the dark brown in this palette. I'm going to take that and basically go from the outer corner into the inner corner. Like, I haven't done a look like this in forever, so let's all pray <laughs> that it looks okay. Bars. Your girl got bars. But the only reason I'm saying that is because the last look didn't turn out okay. And, yeah, you just don't know. So, right now I'm just creating a bridge from the outer edge to the inner edge. And we're gonna do like this like halo kind of look. I'm gonna start to bring this upward. I'm gonna take this, ooh, this is the Huda Beauty Toffee Browns Obsession palette. I'm gonna take this lighter brown here. Maybe even this one, I might mix the two. And I am going to take that on this blending brush from um, Jaclyn Hill. It's a JH31, Jaclyn Hill times Morphe. And I'm just going to use these two shades as my mid-tone shade kind of to bridge that dark, dark brown with the transition shade. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with some of the dark brown. And use that to darken the edges. Okay, so now we need to cut the middle. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit above. Look up, make sure it doesn't transfer, so that means it's up high enough. I actually need more. Did I tell you guys I'm using the ABH Eyelid Primer? If I didn't, that's what I'm using. So 
So I'm gonna take this really pretty shade in the middle. It's like an iridescent, it's like a pink, but it's also got like gold reflex. And I'm gonna take that on this foiled shadow brush from Makeup Key and just put that right over it. So I'm gonna mainly focus that in the middle here because I am gonna go in with the lighter browns that I use. I'm gonna use those as like, like a transition. into the like halo and now I'm going to take a little bit of the darker brown and just blend that into the lighter brown And I'm using a different brush. This is just a random brush I grabbed um, out of my brush container holder thing. Just because I don't want to dirty up the other brush because I'm going to use that for my other eye. So I'm going to take a little bit more of the shade in the middle. And I'm just doing like light tapping motions off to the side. I kind of lost a little bit of it. Very pretty! With a halo look kind of like this, it's a lot of like back and forth, unfortunately. Just because you want to make sure it's like nice and blended and like everything is seamless. So. I think that's good. I think she's cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave her like that. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> I am going to do the other eye. I'm actually going to film it for a reel probably. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I've got glitter all over. Ugh. This is why I hate glitter. I hate glitter so much. Oh my gosh. Why is this not even like, it's barely picking up any sound. Hello? Hello? God. Okay, you guys, so I am going to move on to the face. I'm going to use this Tula Skin Care. This is a filter primer, blurring and moisturizing primer. I've never used this. This is something that I got from them, um, like, while I was, like, on a makeup hiatus. So it's supposed to create like this nice like filtered base, but it has like a tint to it. Not a tint, but it has like some like, yeah, I guess like a little tint, it's like a little sparkle. It's supposed to give your face a nice like glow. Instantly smooth the look of uneven skin tone and hydrate for a glowy filter like finish. Um, apply two to three pumps of this buildable primer and blend to release the sheer complexion boosting pigment. Did it boost my complexion, y'all? Hmm. So foundation, I'm using the Maybelline, what was this called? A uh, Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Mocha, I believe. I haven't used this foundation in forever and it's probably expired, but you know what? She's a good foundation and we're gonna go with her. Yeah, we're gonna give her a shot. I'm gonna use the um, Airbrush Kabuki by Sigma, the F85, and just use this to blend in. Like, I like a full coverage foundation, but I don't like to use like a crap ton of foundation. Um, like I need just a little bit just to kind of cover the blemishes and stuff, but like I don't want like a mask on. So I apply like a sheer layer of foundation now, like even for my clients, like 
two to three pumps is enough. And I just use that to blend in. I don't have problem as problematic skin as I used to, so I don't need as much as I used to. But definitely, definitely, definitely don't use as much as I used to. Make sure I hit down here my jawline like so. Concealer we're going to use is the Maybelline Conceal and Perfect. This is in 165 Deep Tan. I just have really been loving this concealer. Um, it's like a golden undertone concealer and she just she just does right every single time so and we're gonna blend her in with the beauty blender so I'm gonna go ahead and set this with the Benai luxury powder and banana And I'm actually going to press it into my skin today instead of baking. If you guys remember, I used to do this. Oh my god, like two, three years ago, I used to do this. I had saw, um, I think it was Mario, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. I think I saw him say that this is what he does to Kim to give her a flawless finish and I was like oh my gosh like that's a good idea so that's what I started doing and then I just stopped doing it I don't know Big boy, what? Why are you awake? Take What's the... up? I didn't feel my mommy or my daddy. What are you doing, honey? No, no, no. You can't grab mommy's makeup. What? just woke up you guys he's supposed to be sleeping and he just woke up Jack's downstairs playing the game so we have a baby man with us right now um, I'm gonna use this Juvia's Place uh, bronzer this is in deep dark and we're going to bronze the skin it has two different shades in it and most of the time I just kind of mix between the two of them and just use this to kind of contour the cheekbones with this big puppy or fluffy brush and then hit the forehead Did I tell you guys that this is like my favorite brush ever? This is a Skin Perfector from Sigma. It's at F67. Oh my god, I love this brush. What? What? You see mommy up there? Oh. I love this brush so much. Now I'm going to contour the nose. Yeah, you want to help mommy do makeup? No, it doesn't go in your mouth, baby man. Ooh, is that why you woke up? You needed a burp? So 
So for my blush, I'm going to use this Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Spice Cinnamon. And we're going to use this amazing blush brush that I found yesterday. This is from Stilazzi. It's an ankled blush. Those are mom's glasses. And it's the L312. No, honey, you can't put these in your mouth. And... Oh, so pretty. Pigmented blush with a dense blush brush. We love her. Oh, right in mom's blush. Nice. Amazing. Amazing. Mommy is blushing her face. No. Whatever. Whatever, Blaze. Whatever. So for highlighter, we are using ColourPop's Pressed Highlighter in the shade... Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've even done my makeup. Oh, I can't even remember what the shade is called. Oh my gosh. It's one of my favorites. Can't remember, but it's really pretty. So this is going to go on the cheeks, above the brow. Ooh. Put a lot over there. Lizzie, I think daddy's coming to get you. Oh man, I have a lot. Okay, I just wiped off and I'm gonna try to like burn this out a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm a bit much, and I know this. However, I guess there's like no turning back right now. I'm gonna do the tip and the bridge of my nose. What's that? Oh, a blush, or a, I should have brushed, okay, whatever. Okay. Last but not least, set my face. Daddy Mon. Looking real good, baby. Thank you. I have a kid here. Baby Mon, is it you, pal? Hello, oh, baby man, help a little. Stand up. Everybody, you went swimming. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't touch mommy's face. You already got makeup on your hands. He just always wants to be with mom. In his bed, in your bed, in our bed. Like in the same spot, right? Yep. He just. You didn't feel anybody next to you and didn't hear anything and just woke right on up, huh? It's like, Dad, why are you taking me? But I'm with Mom. I'm with Mom. <laughs> You're okay, honey. Mm -hmm. You should be done. I love you. Yep, Mommy will be done very soon. Oslo, out. Thank you. Thank you guys, thank you. Okay, so now we need to work on the lower lash line. And basically what we're going to do is take that darker brown out of the Wild Tiger palette. And I'm gonna take in E27 Detailed Blending Brush and put that right on the lower lashes. Normally, most people would do like the same thing that they did up top with the halo. They would do that on the bottom as well. But I'm not really feeling that today. I'm also going to diffuse this edge out here. Make that all nice and diffused. And then do the same thing over here. 
Then take a little bit more of the light brown and sweep that underneath. And take a little bit more of the first sheet that we use and apply that to the upper crease and the inner crease. Now all that's left is some lashes, which I don't know what lashes I'm going to put on. Um, but once I figure that out, I will. And then I'll, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so I put on these really big dramatic lashes, so just bear with me. Um, these are the K-Diamond Beauty lashes in the style Diamonds. They're really, really, really big, and they've, like, curled all different kind of ways. So they just kind of look like spiders on my eyes. But, you know what? Whatever. They're already on. We're going to go with it. So I'm going to take Dose of Colors uh, Gel Eyeliner and Sleepover. It's this pretty pink color. <clears throat> with a dose of colors fine liner brush and what I'm gonna do with this is put this into my waterline and just kind of paint it on and this is gonna give a really pretty pop of pink Then I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm going to put on my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara on my lower lashes. Okay, so let's move on to the lips. I'm going to take ColourPop's Liquid, liquid Lipstick lip liner in pitch it's a really dark brown I think pitch is actually darker than BFF number four and then I'm gonna take a dose of color stay glossy lip gloss in must have I've actually never used this shade Woo! that's a lip line just taking the edge of the brush now and just kinda using it to go over the lip line It smells so good. It smells so good. She's cute. The lip line's cute. It's a little um, dark, but you know what? It's okay. She's dramatic. She's okay. Okay, but she turned out cute. Like, even with these crazy lashes on. I think the lip holds it all together. Like, the lip and the lower lash line is everything. Honestly, everything is everything. <laughs> Alright, you guys, that completes the look. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is, like, classic Lonnie. Like, this is, like... Classic, like over the top, dramatic, like give me everything, give me completely unwearable by the everyday woman. <laughs> um, but the next video that I'm gonna film is definitely gonna be like more like, like mom kind of like, yeah. Because like honestly though, like I don't really do much. Like, like I don't wear anything. I don't even wear lip gloss when I'm like being mom. But I want to do something geared for like us moms. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video. And leave me a suggestion down below on what else you guys would like to see. I think like my next next look 
um it's gonna be like a neon look because i've been really wanting to work with like this neon glitter that i got and this one of these palettes has a neon yellow in it or it's the mmm mitchell palette one of those so we're gonna do neon in a couple looks and i know it's like like fall so i'll give you guys fall as well so yeah yeah i think this is it <laughs> 